Hi everyone, do you love TOEIC? Probably not, but do you like the idea of getting a high score on the TOEIC test? Yes. So today we are going to improve your TOEIC score by looking at three difficult questions and I'm gonna show you how to get the answer. So let's get started. Here's the first question. Well, I always say if you can make the sentence shorter, the answer will be easier to get. So let's make this sentence shorter. Our subject is her victory. We do not have a verb. And then as a surprise. This is all we need to get the answer. The blank is the main verb in the sentence. So let's first eliminate D. Remember, if we look at C, the verb tenses and the verb forms are C, saw, seen. Seen is the past participle. It cannot be a main verb by itself in a sentence. For example, if you use seen, you will need has, have, had seen. For example, I have seen that movie three times. Present perfect. Or you can make it passive voice. Passive voice is object, be verb, plus seen. For example, the movie was seen twice by my friend. In this TOEIC sentence, we have no has, have, had. We also do not have a be verb. And seen cannot be a main verb all by itself. So we take out seen. Next, eliminate made. Notice this statement. He made as a mistake. Does that sound correct or strange? Strange. We can see in the TOEIC question it says, her victory as surprise. Here, make needs a direct object. You would need a noun after make. For example, the decision made problems. That's okay. But it would be incorrect to say the decision made as problems. So if we look at this poet question, if I said her victory in the marathon made a surprise, that would be better. It's still a little strange, but we would not say her victory in the marathon made as a surprise. So we eliminate made. So now we have came or led. Well, the answer here is came. This is actually a collocation. Common expression is something comes as a surprise, shock, or disappointment to person. For example, the election results in Argentina came as a surprise to many. That is a collocation. It's an expression. So, her victory in the marathon came as a surprise. Overall, the answer is A. Let's go to the next question. First, let's understand reduced adverb clauses. Let's look at a sentence. Before I went home, I did some grocery shopping. Notice the subject is the same in both clauses. Before I went, I did. In this situation, you can remove the subject in the adverb clause and turn the verb into ing. An example, before I... Before I went home can become before going home, I did some grocery shopping. Another example, since I injured my ankle, I haven't been able to play hockey. Since injuring my ankle, I haven't been able to play hockey. The subject is the same, I, I. This is what is happening in the TOEIC question. So, before we get the answer, we can learn about renovations. Renovations are the act of repairing or fixing and painting an old building. An example, the restaurant is starting to look outdated. I think the restaurant should do renovations. Now the verb is renovate. I think they should renovate the restaurant. So now it's about collocations. A company can do renovations to a building. But a building can get or undergo 
renovations. Undergo renovations is a collocation. Undergo is used when something happens to somebody or something happens to a building, but there is no control. An example, the patient underwent treatment, surgery, tests, therapy, or an examination because the doctor is doing this to the patient or the city is undergoing changes or the city is undergoing a transformation. So here, the city does not have control. It is happening to it. So once again, the answer is B. If we look at the question, after undergoing renovation, the hotel looks completely different before. So that's a collocation. A building can undergo renovations. Now, let's go to the last question. Once again, let's simplify. Blank, the building is modern. It is very popular with tourists. So in my head, I'm thinking, because the building is modern, it is very popular with tourists. Therefore, I need a word like because. First, let's eliminate A for grammatical reasons. In view of is a preposition. It is like because of. For example, in view of recent evidence, the prisoner was released. After in view of, you need a noun form, not a verb and not a subject in a verb. So if I say in view of his contact was poor, we need to terminate the contract. This is incorrect because you have a subject verb. Correct, in view of his poor conduct or in view of how poor his conduct was. These are noun forms. If we look at this TOEIC statement, we can see that it says the building is modern. So you have a subject verb after. So we can immediately eliminate in view of. Next, eliminate B, provided that. Provided that means if this happens, this will happen. It is usually used in the first conditional. An example, if the company receives the permit, the construction will start in January. Notice it says the construction will start. Provided that the company receives the permit, the construction will start. If we have provided that, we would need provided that the building is very modern, it will be very popular with tourists. It will. We do not have a future tense here. This is not a first conditional. Therefore, we can eliminate provided that. So now we have C and D. Are you as excited as I am? What is the answer? Well, the answer is D. Seeing that subject verb, subject verb, this is saying because this situation exists. Seeing that it's a holiday, so because it's a holiday, I don't think anyone will pick up the phone at the business. Or, seeing that doing taxes is difficult, many people hire an accountant. So it's acting like because. Finally, for this TOEIC question, seeing that the building is very modern and close to the beach, it is very popular with tourists. So it equals because. We have finished three TOEIC questions. We have learned some key collocations and we will have improved our score. So. Before you end, please like, subscribe, share, and everyone, good luck with your English and good luck with your TOEIC. Have a great day.